all right. Um, sometimes it comes to mind very readily, you know, when you just wake up and you meet a very wet morning and when it's so, it's just raining so very heavily. Now, can we actually sing Majek Fashek's song and say, send out the rain? No. Not even when the rains are already here. I mean, that's <laughs> what we witnessed today is the Tuesday morning, is the sixth day in the month of October 2015. Welcome to Cool TV, Channel 196 and Star Times. And uh, this is um, Crossfire, and my name is Dako Banjo, and I have Ishomaga in here with me in the studio. We'll quickly be doing business. Ishomaga, good morning. Good How morning. are you? Good. good morning, and welcome to Crossfire today. Like he was saying, please let's not sing my Jack Fashek song, Send Down the Ring, because <laughs> our drainages uh, are still. No, the rains are here already. So well, they're here, but you know, if you sing that sing song, song, you're going to call John Moray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a gentleman joining us on the show this morning, and we have fantastic, fantastic uh, topic that we're going to be discussing today, and it has to do with how to revamp, how to resuscitate the Nigerian economy. What's the plan of the, of the government, of the new government in place? And then we have this wonderful guy. He's an economist and he's a financial analyst, and we'll be talking very um, detailed with him talking about the very facets of the Nigerian economy, many of them were, uh, that are already in comatose, and how the government intends you know, to re-energize and resuscitate each of these um, aspects or sector of the economy. Uh, let's welcome Tunji Andrews, is a lead economist, TTAC Africa. Tunji, good morning. Good to have you on Crossfire welcome again. Welcome to Crossfire. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now, a lot of guys, you know, have sent us, you know, email and you've made comments, you know, on our Facebook. And um, you have been asking, okay, when are you bringing this gentleman back on the show? Now he's here today. Um, you know, we cannot be so sure. He's a very busy person. And I know he's really working very closely with the current administration, you know, just ensuring that we have the best of, uh, you know. <laughs> That, 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 is, that is an indictment. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, now, Tuji, uh, let's quickly take one or two stories, and then we come back to really discuss about, uh, you know, the Nigerian economy. Now, Buari, you know, is planning to actually, uh, you know, um, put a new face to what budget or uh, budgetary allocation for the nation should be and what it is at the moment. And so... Yesterday, Buhari to diversify Nigeria's economy in 2016 budget. Now, President Mohamed Buhari says, his administration will enact new policies to diversify Nigeria's economy from oil to all the sectors such as agriculture, mining, and manufacturing. Now, the diversification, according to the president, will be captured in the 2016 national budget. This calls for a lot of debate, and we definitely will be talking about it now. Uh, President Buari gave this hint at a meeting with uh, a delegation of French investors under the ages of the movement of the enterprises of France led by its president, Pere Gattaz in Abuja, yesterday. Now, President Buari, during his visits you know, to Paris three weeks ago, met with the investors who assured him of a visit to Nigeria on investment survey. President Buhari said the policies uh, currently being evolved by his administration um, would boost domestic manufacturing and attract greater investment to Nigerian ag agriculture and the mining sectors. Now, it is believed that, um, you know, the, the current budget, especially, um, I mean, it is very important that we remind you that the budget that uh, the Buhari administration is sending as we speak, or is spending as we speak, was actually passed by the past administration, that's uh, the administration led by good luck, Jonathan. Now, uh, it is obvious that this budget cannot even carry us to 2015. Uh, and, and so there's a need for probably a budget review or a, budget, a supplementary budget so that at least we can do the bulk of the things that we can do in 2015 uh, by, the led, um, uh, by the administration led by Muhammad Buhari. Now, um, the president is planning in 2016 uh, budget to diversify um, the Nigerian economy. Now, the question I want to ask um, uh, quickly, Tunji, is that, is it that the president is saying we will try to fund the 2016 budget using all the sectors of the Nigerian economy to fund this budget, or is saying whatever budget we come up with for 2016, we actually be spent 
to um, to help um, you know uh, resuscitate or give back to new mainstay for the Nigerian economy. I mean, because this story needs to be properly analyzed. You see, because in my thoughts. I'm thinking what the president is just saying is that, okay, we're not going to, the 2016 budget is not going to be basically funded by oil, you know, in, in Nigeria any longer. We have to get money from a Greek, from mining, from the manufacturing yeah. industry. Or, or, or what's your, what, what's your view on this? Um, both sides okay. really don't make much sense. Um, to you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain why. Let, okay. let's, let's start from the area of using the, uh, those areas to fund the 2016 budget. budget yeah. um, mining as a sector in Nigeria contributes far less than 1% of GDP. So mining as a sector might not even start being taxed in 2016. Talk less of it being used to fund the budget. Okay. Um, agriculture as it is, what, is the government going to go into farming itself or is it going to start taxing farmers? That's the question we need mm -hmm. to ask. So mm -hmm. how do you get revenue from that area? So I, I, don't, I don't think it's that. I think what he's saying is the other area is that we're going to use this to, we're going to use the 2016 budget to try and resuscitate these areas. Okay. And we know that we've been seeing a lot of this diversify the economy rhetoric. It started with the last administration, and then this administration too has carried it, which is complete hogwash, because the economy is diversified. It's fully diversified. Crude oil is less than 15% of GDP. Okay. So what we need to diversify is government revenue, because government revenue is 80, 90% from crude oil. Mm -hmm. So it is government that needs to diversify how it gets money. Um, mm. So uh, the government saying that it wants to build these areas to diversify its revenue. You see, it's a lot of confusion. You see, that's yeah, the, that's yeah, that it's so it's the, so is the government confusion. now saying we are now diverse. We want to go into mining. Are yeah, we going to start I, mining ourselves? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or is the government or saying are we going, going to bring to investors? Because you, if if when I understand Mr. President's speak, well, his speech about diversifying the economy, like you see other nations which are way better than what we are today. Mm -hmm. Education, they generate revenue from education. They, they generate good revenue, and I'm not talking about peanuts, I'm talking about good revenue from education, good revenue from tourism, from mining, how agriculture, do do how, and how, the how, rest how of them. Do that? Because they of the support. Well, taxation they, and then the policies which they have put in to make it more friendly for no, the we're citizens talking about, we're talking about, to invest Are in. we talking about the economy now or the government revenue? Both. We're talking about both. Here. The economy in Nigeria is fully diversified. Agriculture has been the largest contributor to Nigeria's GDP for over 20 years, Large. with or without support. Largest mm. contributor Large. to Nigeria's GDP. So where GDP. do you place oil? Oil is a revenue source for the government. For the government. It is not a big contributor to Nigeria's GDP. Understand that Nigeria's GDP is largely informal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have the woman on the street selling exactly. uh, uh, Very biscuits, informal. which is yeah. not captured by uh, a, a lot of the government. The we have organizer the, is we have, there. Exactly. The, we have the, the mechanics are Those the are the largest. Are, yeah. That's the largest part of Nigeria's GDP. That is largely informal and on, mostly uncaptured. What the government needs to do is try to capture those areas so that we can tax them. So you see somebody say he's a, a something and Sons Nigeria Limited is exactly. selling electronics somewhere. Is he paying taxes? How no. many? How many electronics? You know, is he shops selling? You know, in Alaba. Do you today, get how many paying, paying taxes? So yeah. that is where the government needs to focus on and diversify its revenue. When you start talking about things like manufacturing, it sounds good. It sounds like you know, but that is you are now trying to spend money to create new money. But this is money already on the ground. This is the informal sector which you need to make, because a lot of these businesses, by the nature or the name of what informal is, yeah. informal in Nigeria's context is they do not pay taxes. Exactly. But there are a lot of businesses which should be paying taxes in Nigeria, which are still captured in, in, in the informal sector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, very true. Do you understand? Now, so, now, and now, that is money waiting for us to yeah, just maybe the take question. To Tunji, maybe the question now <laughs> is that, why is it taking Nigeria forever to formalize those sectors. Why is it so difficult for the, I mean, I, I, have, an, I have had an opportunity to live outside the country for mm -hmm. a short while. And I know that even a cab driver you pay your taxes. must declare at the end of the year, what a, because if you really want to live in that economy, you want to be a part of that economy, you have to declare something. Mm -hmm. But we have so many informal businesses, areas. Even huge 
corporate organizations. You know, exactly. Still within that, the that informal... are today, the government mm -hmm. need to come up with a policy that to can make capture them, them... Exactly, to capture well, them. Well, here's the thing, right? Um, those economies are very structured. So you have social security systems which people are being... Exactly. Able to, but if um, he... We we saw that uh, the head of LIRS was taken to FIRS recently, yes. and uh, for me that was a fantastic move because right. FIRS did something that was revolutionary in Nigeria in terms of the fact that it understood the concept of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Nigerians don't like to pay tax, <laughs> so what did FIRS, uh, LIRS at that time? That's the Lagos, Lagos Inland, Inland Revenue, Revenue Service. Revenue. What did they do at that time? They sent people out into the streets. So somebody from LIRS is just walking along the street and is looking at businesses. So he just goes into the business and he's like, oh, good afternoon. This is his, and as he, he comes into your office, he's captured you. Mm -hmm. So you, you get a letter in, in the sub subsequent week. You start to you know, yeah, right. deal with the LIRS. So they captured a lot of people. They, they've not captured as many as they should, yeah. but they captured quite a bit. That is the model that uh, uh, FIRS needs to start using because Nigerians are not just going to walk themselves to FIRS officers and say, say yes, tax me. Um, yes. Yeah. So we need to, we need to uh, aggressively go out there and capture these people so that, because there's, there's a wide market for, there's a, not just a wide market, there's a wide margin to cover that we can do from, from, from uh, um, taxes. Um, Greece gets about 80% of its revenue from, from taxes. taxation. Yeah. We get 80% of our revenue from crude oil. Imagine what we could be doing with, with taxes. So when, when the president starts to talk about we, we want to diversify by going into mining, mining that we've not started doing yet, what, are you going to start creating the mines? Are you going to start importing technology to, to, to dig the mines? Or Why within not? a very short while, I mean... Uh, you just want to bring investors, and by 2016, no, if, if, are you, are which you, is are less you than just um, three now? months, mm -hmm. you know, to go. But in this, uh, but some of these policies are long. They are aimed at long term. So when you so then don't term don't say don't, don't, don't say 2016 is don't say 2016. No, because because <laughs> the understanding, understanding of this is that two, all of this will be captured in the 2016 budget. Mm -hmm. If you look at the 2015 budget and the previous ones, it didn't capture that. So the no, 2016 oh, budget something. will capture. There's always something. You know, um, I mean, the there's always something, but was, sufficiently uh, no. The budget of. I can't remember. There's always some name given to budgets. Yes, yes. yes. But we, we like to name our budgets in Nigeria. It, 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 now, it, it, just so that we can relate with it. <laughs> and most times, it, it, the tag is just that. Um, it will now help us to know if we are still doing more of recurrent expenditure. Oh, with the, yeah. or, or we are focusing on capital, capital expenditure. expenditure. So the tagging is always to help the government say, okay, this time around within this budget, these are, I mean, the, the maybe 65% <laughs> will be on capital expenditure or it's still going to be recurring. Now, let, let's move a, a little further. The government is trying to revamp, to recover, let me, let, permit me to use the word, to recover the Nigerian economy because we've since lost it. Mm -hmm. Now, in the bid to be able to do this, we, we at the same time need to create a platform where Nigerians will legitimately be able to do their businesses without really feeling the pain of being taxed. For instance, <laughs> if the government wants me to pay tax and I struggle to, to, uh, to do my business, and I, when your, I say struggle, business. I power my business mm -hmm. by myself, I do the marketing by myself, I do the sales by myself, I buy a truck to move the pure water that I'm doing in my compound to places that are really very unmotorable, and I incur expenses on these trucks, and you know, day in and day also. out. And all you care as a government is to, for me to pay tax. It's, it is not fair. No, and no, that is why sorry. typically a, a, a Nigerian is not tax friendly. I mm -hmm. just don't want to pay. If you deduct it from source, and I'm not aware for those of us who are in the, you know, in the, you yeah. know, pay, uh, yeah, paid, employment. Uh, paid employment, it is, it is okay. I can relate with that. But that I'm doing my business by myself, not funded by the government, no loan from the bank, mm -hmm. but venture is just proceed from my salary that I've used to, to establish the, another term, you know, yeah. means of income. And then you want to come and tax me. It is going to bring a lot of issues. So what exactly are we looking or should the government provide for me as a Nigerian to be able to do my business legitimately, and then I become tax friendly. And you see, the, the, the biggest problem with Nigeria is that um, we have a lot of 
thinking people, but we don't have many of them in government. Mm. Um, the, the, the issues with Nigeria are thinking problems. Mm. Thinking problems. Thinking or implementation problems. Oh, I because think it's not, 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 not we reasoning, have, you, see, you know, you see, how solutions when, when, we when, 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 lot, when you when you when you think when you They're think of, when you think about a practical solution, mm -hmm. you would have those issues of implementation. Okay. Impractical solutions. So, um, like that, taxing. Taxing somebody that is not getting anything from the government. It's 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 highly I mean, improbable. Very I mean, unfriendly. Why would you I, I would probably throw sticks and stones at you. I, I want to see what I'm being taxed for. So in the UK, for, or, or wherever it is, you, you, you see them paying heavy taxes. But everything is working. The, the rail system is working. The, the, the light system is working. I mean, it's working. You don't struggle to get water. It's are, you, are you indirectly saying Nigerians shouldn't pay their taxes? No, I am not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, no, saying, I'm, wrong, saying, I'm saying structure the thinking. Okay. Like I said it before. The power situation, right? Nigeria's power situation can be solved without actually putting more money. It's just a little bit of thinking. Now, what can we do to fix Nigeria's power problem? First of all, we need to remove that whole mindset, that, that, that law that says if you create more than one megawatt, you need to pump it to the national grid. Mm. Why? Because if this community, for instance, produces electricity, we come together and say, can't we just make our can't own, we generate can't we just energy. generate our own electricity here? Mm -hmm. So what we need here is maybe 200 megawatts, and we start to generate power. With power, what it, mean, what it usually is that after a while, we get to generate more than we actually use. Mm -hmm. So we decide, okay, let's start selling to the next street. They exactly. don't have enough power. They don't have enough. Mm -hmm. and so we do that, and the next street starts generating more, and there's excess. They sell to the next street. And we start to do that. Then what we have on ground presently, we'll focus on the manufacturing sector, all those people that need uh, uh, um, major sources of power. That is sorted. Just the same way we created uh, the GSM sector. We had them liberalized instead of privatized. Exactly. So we said, MTN, go and do what you want to do. And set up see, your infrastructure. Yes. Etisalat, set up your infrastructure. We didn't tell them, come and buy NITEL. Mm -hmm. You buy the leg, you buy the hand, you buy the neck. We didn't do that. That is what we should do with it. All right, we're, we're beginning to blow the, uh, I mean, the, pro the program up um, <laughs> because we're going to be going into the various, you know, as many of the, you know, sectors of the Nigerian economy that we can discuss on the show today with Tuji Andrews and um, Ishama. And so we go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll definitely be touching areas that has to do with your business. You don't want to go nowhere. We'll be right back. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.